John Towner Williams is an American composer, conductor and pianist. He is considered to be one of the greatest film composers of all time. In a career spanning over six decades, he has composed some of the most popular and recognizable film scores in cinematic history, including Jaws, Family Plot, the Star Wars series, Superman, the Indiana Jones series, E.T. The Extraterrestrial, the first two Home Alone films, Hook, the first two Jurassic Park films, Schindler's List, Saving Private Ryan, the first three Harry Potter films, Catch Me If You Can, Memoirs of a Geisha, War Horse, and Lincoln. He has had a long association with director Steven Spielberg, composing the music for all but one of Spielberg's major feature-length films. Other notable works by Williams include theme music for four Olympic Games, NBC Sunday Night Football, the NBC Nightly News, the Statue of Liberty's rededication, the television series Lost in Space and Land of the Giants, and the original, not as well-known Calypso-based theme song to Gilligan's Island. Williams has also composed numerous classical concerti, and he served as the Boston Pops Orchestra's principal conductor from 1980 to 1993. He is now the orchestra's conductor laureate. Williams has won five Academy Awards, four Golden Globe Awards, seven British Academy Film Awards and 21 Grammy Awards. With 49 Academy Award nominations, Williams is the second most nominated person, after Walt Disney. Williams was honored with the annual Richard Kirk Award at the 1999 BMI Film and TV Awards, recognizing his contribution to film and television music. Williams was inducted into the Hollywood Bowl Hall of Fame in 2000, and was a recipient of the Kennedy Center Honors in 2004. Early Life and Family John Towner Williams was born on February 8, 1932 in Floral Park, New York, the son of Esther and Johnny Williams. His father was a jazz percussionist who played with the Raymond Scott Quintet. In 1948, the Williams family moved to Los Angeles where John attended North Hollywood High School graduating in 1950. He later attended the University of California, Los Angeles, and studied privately with the Italian composer Mario Castelnuovo Tedesco. In 1952, Williams was drafted into the U.S. Air Force, where he conducted and arranged music for the U.S. Air Force Band as part of his assignments. After his Air Force service ended in 1955, Williams moved to New York City and entered the Juilliard School, where he studied piano with Rosanella Copyright Vin. During this time, Williams worked as a jazz pianist in New York's many clubs and eventually studios, most notably for composer Henry Mancini. His fellow session musicians included Roly Bundock on bass, Jack Sperling on drums and Bob Bain on guitar a Euro the same lineup featured on the Mr. Lucky television series. Williams was known as Little Johnny Love Williams during the early 1960s, and he served as music arranger and band leader for a series of popular music albums with the singer Frankie Lane. Williams was married to actress Barbara Ruick from 1956 until her death on March 1, 1974. Williams and Ruick had three children, Jennifer, Mark, and Joseph. Joseph is one of the various lead singers in the band Toto. Williams' grandson is Lionel Williams who is in the band Vinyl Williams. His granddaughter is Hannah Ruick, an up-and-coming California pop artist. John Williams married his second wife, Samantha Winslow, on July 21, 1980. John Williams is an honorary member of Kappa Kappa Psi, an American fraternity for college band members. Film and Television Scoring while skilled in a variety of 20th-century compositional idioms, Williams' most familiar style may be described as a form of neoromanticism, inspired by the late 19th century's large-scale orchestral music a Euro in the style of Tchaikovsky or Richard Wagner's compositions and their concept of leitmotif a Euro that inspired his film music predecessors. After his studies at Juilliard and the Eastman School of Music, Williams returned to Los Angeles, where he began working as an orchestrator at film studios. Among other composers, Williams worked with Franz Waxman, Bernard Harriman, and Alfred Newman, and also with his fellow orchestrators Conrad Salinger and Bob Franklin. Williams was also a studio pianist, performing on film scores by composers such as Jerry Goldsmith, 
Elmer Bernstein, and Henry Mancini. Williams recorded with Henry Mancini the film scores of 1959's Peter Gune, 1962's Days of Wine and Roses, and 1963's Charade. Williams also composed the music for various TV programs in the 1960s, the pilot episode of Gilligan's Island, Bachelor Father, The Craft Suspense Theatre, Lost in Space, The Time Tunnel, and Land of the Giants as well as the key sonata for Beyond Knoll's Crazy in Love. Williams's first film composition was for the 1958 B-movie Daddy-O, and his first screen credit came two years later in Because They're Young. He soon gained notice in Hollywood for his versatility in composing jazz, piano, and symphonic music. Williams received his first Academy Award nomination for his film score for 1967's Valley of the Dolls, and was nominated again for his score for 1969's Goodbye, Mr. Chips. Williams broke through to win his first Academy Award for his film score in the 1971 film Fiddler on the Roof. In 1972, he composed the score for the Robert Altman-directed psychological thriller Images which earned him another nomination in the category Best Music, Original Dramatic Score at the 1973 Academy Awards. During the early 1970s, Williams' prominence grew thanks to his work for now a Euro film producer Owen Allen's disaster films composing the scores for 1972's The Poseidon Adventure and 1974's The Towering Inferno. In addition, he scored Universal's 1974 film Earthquake for director Mark Robson, completing a trinity of scores for the decade's highest-grossing disaster films. He also wrote a very memorable score for the 1972 film The Cowboys, a western starring John Wayne and directed by Mark Riddell. In 1974, Director Steven Spielberg approached Williams to compose the music for his feature directorial debut, The Sugarland Express. The young director had been impressed with Williams' score for the 1969 film The Ravers, and Spielberg was convinced that Williams could compose the musical sound that he desired for any of his films. They teamed up again a year later for Spielberg's second film, Jaws. Widely considered to be a classic suspense film, its film scores ominous. Two-note motif has become synonymous with sharks and approaching danger. The score earned Williams his second Academy Award, his first one for an original composition. Williams considers Jaws to be the score that jump-started his career. Shortly thereafter, Spielberg and Williams began a long collaboration for their next feature film together, Close Encounters of the Third Kind. In an unusual step for a Hollywood film, Spielberg and Williams developed their script and musical concepts simultaneously, as in the film these entwine very closely together. During their two-year-long collaboration, they crafted its distinctive five-note figure that functions both in the background music and as the communication signal of the film's extraterrestrials. Williams also used a system of musical hand signals in the film that were based on hand signs created by John Curran and refined by Zolta Enacodali. During the same period, Spielberg recommended Williams to his friend and fellow director George Lucas, who needed a composer to score his ambitious 1977 space epic film Star Wars. Williams delivered a grand symphonic score in the fashion of Richard Strauss and Golden Age Hollywood composers Max Steiner and Eric Wolfgang Korngold. Its main theme, Luke's theme is among the most widely recognized in film history, and the Force theme and Princess Liar's theme are well-known examples of leitmotif. Both the film and its soundtrack were immensely successful a Euro it remains the highest-grossing non-popular music recording of all to me a Euro, and Williams won another Academy Award for Best Original Score. In 1980, Williams returned to score The Empire Strikes Back, where he introduced the Imperial March as the theme for Darth Vader and the Galactic Empire. The original Star Wars trilogy concluded with the 1983 film Return of the Jedi, for which Williams' score provided most notably the Emperor's theme, Parade of the EWOKS, and Luke and Liar. Both scores earned him Academy Award nominations. Williams worked with director Richard Donner to score the 1978 film Superman. The score's heroic and romantic themes, particularly the main march, the Superman fanfare and the love theme, known as Can You Read My Mind, would appear in the four sequel films. 
for the 1981 film Raiders of the Lost Ark, created by Lucas and directed by Spielberg, Williams wrote a rousing main theme known as the Raiders March to accompany the film's hero, Indiana Jones. He also composed separate themes to represent the Ark of the Covenant, the character Marion, and the story's Nazi villains. Additional themes were featured in his scores to the sequel films Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom, Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade, and Indiana Jones and the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. Williams composed an emotional and sensitive score to Spielberg's 1982 fantasy film E.T. The Extraterrestrial The music conveys the film's benign, childlike sense of innocence, particularly with a spirited theme for the freedom of flight, and a soft string-based, harp-featured theme for the friendship between characters E.T. and Elliot. The film's final chase and farewell sequence marks a rare instance in film history in which the on-screen action was re-edited to conform to the composer's musical interpretation. Williams was awarded a fourth Academy Award for this score. The 1985 film The Color Purple is the only Steven Spielberg-directed theatrical feature for which Williams did not serve as composer. The film's producer, Quincy Jones, wanted to personally arrange and compose the project's music. Williams also did not score Twilight Zone, the movie, but Spielberg had directed only one of the film's four segments. The film's lead director and producer, John Landis, selected Jerry Goldsmith as composer. The Spielberg-Williams collaboration resumed with the director's 1987 film Empire of the Sun, and has continued to the present, spanning genres from science fiction thrillers, to somber tragedies, to eastern-tinged melodramas to dramatic war films. Spielberg has said, I call it an honorable privilege to regard John Williams as a friend. In 1999, George Lucas launched the first of a series of prequels to the original Star Wars trilogy. Williams was asked to score all three films, starting with The Phantom Menace. Along with themes from the previous films, Williams created new themes to be used as leitmotifs in 2002's Attack of the Clones and 2005's Revenge of the Sith. Most notable of these was Duel of the Fates, an aggressive choral movement utilizing harsh Sanskrit lyrics that broadened the style of music used in the Star Wars films. Also of note was Anakin's theme, which begins as an innocent childlike melody and morphs insidiously into a quote of the sinister Imperial March. For Episode 2, Williams composed Across the Stars, a love theme for Padma copyright Amidala and Anakin Skywalker. The final installment combined many of the themes created for the series' previous films, including the Emperor's theme, the Imperial March, Across the Stars, Duel of the Fates, the Force theme, Rebel Fanfare, Luke's theme, and Princess Leia's theme, as well as new themes for General Grievous and the film's climax, entitled Battle of the Heroes. Few composers have scored an entire series of this magnitude, the combined scores of all six Star Wars films add up to more than 14 hours of orchestral music. In the new millennium, Williams was asked to score the film adaptations of J.K. Rowling's widely successful book series, Harry Potter. He went on to score the film franchise's first three installments. As with his Superman theme, the most important theme from Williams' scores for the Harry Potter films, dubbed Hedwig's theme, has been used in the fourth through the eighth films, scored by Patrick Doyle, Nicholas Hooper and Alexander Desplat. Like the main themes from Jaws, Star Wars, Superman, and Indiana Jones, fans have come to identify the Harry Potter films with Williams' original compositions. Williams was asked to return to score the film franchise's final installment, Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows a Euro Part 2, but director David Yates stated that their schedules simply did not align as he would have had to provide Williams with a rough cut of the film sooner than was possible. In 2006, Superman Returns was completed under Bryan Singer's direction, best known for directing the first two films in the X-Men series. Although Singer did not request Williams to compose a score for the intentionally done esque film, he employed the skills of X2 composer John Ottman to incorporate Williams' original Superman theme, as well as those for Lois Lane, Krypton and Smallville. In 2011, the main title theme, and elements of Can You Read My Mind were notably used in the final scene of Finale, 
the series finale of the WBCW television series Smallville. Don Davis performed a similar role for Jurassic Park 3, recommended by Williams himself to the producers. In 2008, Williams returned to the Indiana Jones series to score the fourth film A Euro The Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. He received a Grammy nomination for his work on the film. During 2008, he also composed music for two documentaries, Warner at War, and A Timeless Call, the latter of which was directed by Steven Spielberg. After a three-year absence from film scoring, Williams composed the scores for Spielberg's The Adventures of Tintin and War Horse in 2011. Both scores received overwhelmingly positive reviews, with both scores earning Oscar nominations, and the latter being nominated for a Golden Globe. The Oscar nominations are Williams' 46th and 47th, making him the most nominated musician in Academy Awards history, and the second most nominated overall, following Walt Disney. Williams won an Annie Award for his score for The Adventures of Tintin in 2012. In 2012, Williams scored Spielberg's film Lincoln and subsequently received his 48th Academy Award nomination. In February 2013, Williams conducted the Young Musician a Euro unregistered trademark S Foundation debut orchestra and also expressed his interest in working in the Star Wars sequel trilogy, stating, now we Euro unregistered trademark free hearing of a new set of movies coming in 2015, 2016. So I need to make sure a Euro unregistered trademark am still ready to go in a few years for what I hope would be continued work with George. In May 2013, he confirmed that he will score episode 7. He also scored the 2013 film The Book Thief, which marked his first collaboration with a director other than Spielberg since 2005. The score earned him Academy Award, Golden Globe and BAFTA nominations. It is his 44th nomination for Best Original Score, setting a new record for the most nominations in that category. Conducting and Performing From 1980 to 1993, Williams succeeded Arthur Fiedler as the Boston Pops Orchestra's principal conductor. Williams never met Fiedler in person but spoke with him by telephone. His arrival as the Pops' new leader in the spring of 1980 allowed him to devote part of the Pops' first PBS broadcast of the season to presenting his new compositions for The Empire Strikes Back, in addition to conducting many Fiedler audience favorites. Williams almost ended his tenure with the Pops in 1984. Considered a customary practice of opinion, some players hissed while sight reading a new Williams composition in rehearsal. Williams abruptly left the session and turned in his resignation. He initially cited mounting conflicts with his film composing schedule, but later admitted a perceived lack of discipline in and respect from the pop's ranks, culminating in this latest instance. After entreaties by the management and personal apologies from the musicians, Williams withdrew his resignation and continued as principal conductor for nine more years. In 1995, he was succeeded by Keith Lockhart the former associate conductor of the Cincinnati Symphony Orchestra and Cincinnati Pops Orchestra. Williams is now the Pops Laureate conductor, thus maintaining his affiliation with its parent, the Boston Symphony Orchestra. Williams leads the Pops on several occasions each year, particularly during their holiday pop season and typically for a week of concerts in May. He conducts an annual film night at both Boston Symphony Hall and Tanglewood where he frequently enlists the Tanglewood Festival Chorus, the BSO's official chorus. Williams has written many concert pieces, including a symphony. A concerto for horn written for Dale Clevenger, the Chicago Symphony Orchestra's principal hornist. A concerto for clarinet written for Michelle Zukovsky in 1991. A sinfonietta for wind ensemble. A cello concerto premiered by Yo-Yo Ma and the Boston Symphony Orchestra at Tanglewood in 1994. Concertos for the flute and violin recorded by the London Symphony Orchestra. And a trumpet concerto, which was premiered by the Cleveland Orchestra and their principal trumpet Michael Sachs in September 1996. His bassoon concerto, The Five Sacred Trees which was premiered by the New York Philharmonic and principal bassoon player Judith Leclerc in 1995, was recorded for Sony Classical by Williams with Leclerc and the London Symphony Orchestra. He is also an accomplished pianist, 
as can be heard in various scores in which he provides solos, as well as a handful of European classical music recordings. Williams was the subject of an hour-long documentary for the BBC in 1980, and was featured in a story for ABC's news magazine 2020s in 1983. In 1985, Williams was commissioned by NBC to compose a television news music package for various network news spots. The package, which Williams named The Mission, consists of four movements, two of which are still used heavily by NBC Today for Today, NBC Nightly News, and Meet the Press. Williams also composed the Liberty Fanfare for the Statue of Liberty's rededication, We're Looking Good. For the Special Olympics in celebration of the 1987 International Summer Games, and themes for the 1984, 1988, 1996, and 2002 Olympic Games. His most recent concert work, Seven for Luck, for soprano and orchestra, is a seven piece song cycle based on the texts of former U.S. poet laureate Rita Dove. Seven for Luck was given its world premiere by the Boston Symphony under Williams with soprano Cynthia Heyman. Williams makes annual appearances with the Los Angeles Philharmonic at the Hollywood Bowl, and took part as conductor and composer in the orchestra's opening gala concerts for the Walt Disney Concert Hall in 2003. In 2004, Williams both served as the Grand Marshal for the Rose Parade, and directed the Star Spangled Banner at the Rose Bowl's beginning. In April 2005, Williams and the Boston Pops performed the Throne Room finale from Star Wars at opening day in Fenway Park as the Boston Red Sox, having won their first World Series championship since 1918, received their championship rings. For Game 1 of the 2007 World Series, Williams conducted a brass and drum ensemble through a new dissonant arrangement of the Star Spangled Banner. In February 2004, April 2006, and September 2007, he conducted the New York Philharmonic at Avery Fisher Hall in New York City. The initial program was intended to be a one-time special event, and featured Williams' medley of Oscar-winning film scores first performed at the previous year's Academy Awards. Its unprecedented popularity led to two concerts in 2006, fundraising gala events featuring personal recollections by film directors Martin Scorsese and Steven Spielberg. Continuing demand fueled three more concerts in 2007, which all sold out. These featured a tribute to the musicals of film director Stanley Donnan, and had the distinction of serving as the New York Philharmonic season's opening event. After a three-season absence, Williams conducted the Philharmonic once again in October 2011. Concert Works, Concertos, 1969, Concerto for Flute and Orchestra, 1976, Concerto for Violin and Orchestra, 1985, Concerto for Tuba and Orchestra, 1991, Concerto for Clarinet and Orchestra, 1993, Concerto for Bassoon and Orchestra, The Five Sacred Trees, 1994, Concerto for Cello and Orchestra, 1996, Concerto for Trumpet and Orchestra, 2000, Tree Song for Violin and Orchestra, 2002, Hartwood Lyric Sketches for Cello and Orchestra, 2002, Escapades for Alto Saxophone and Orchestra, 2003, Concerto for Horn and Orchestra, 2007, Duo Concertanti for Violin and Viola, 2009, Concerto for Viola and Orchestra, 2009, On Willows and Birches, for Harp and Orchestra, 2011, Concerto for Oboe and Orchestra, Other Orchestral Works, 1965, Prelude and Fugue, 1965, Symphony No. 1, 1968, Sinfonietta for Wind Ensemble, 1975, Thomas and the King A Euro Musical, 1980, Jubilee 350 Fanfare, 1986, Liberty Fanfare, 1987, A Hymn to New England, 1988, Fanfare for Michael Dukakis, 1988, for New York, 1990, Celebrate. Discovery, 1993. Sound the Bells. 1994, Song for World Peace. 1995, Variations on Happy Birthday. 1999, American Journey. 2003, Soundings. 2007, Star Spangled Banner. 2008, A Timeless Call. 2012, Fanfare for Finway. 2013, 
for the President's Own, Chamber Works, 1997, Elegy for Cello and Piano, 2001, Three Pieces for Solo Cello, 2009, Air and Simple Gifts for Violin, Cello, Clarinet and Piano, 2011, Quartet La Holla for Violin, Cello, Clarinet and Harp, 2012, Rounds for Solo Guitar, 2013, Conversations for Solo Piano, 2014, Music for Brass for Brass Ensemble and Percussion, 2014, Scherzo for Piano and Orchestra, Awards, John Williams has been nominated for 49 Academy Awards, winning 5. 6 Emmy Awards, winning 3. 25 Golden Globe Awards, winning 4. 63 Grammy Awards, winning 21. And has received 7 British Academy Film Awards. With 49 Oscar nominations, Williams currently holds the record for the most Oscar nominations for a living person and is the second most nominated person in Academy Awards history behind Walt Disney's 59. 44 of Williams' Oscar nominations are for Best Original Score and 5 are for Best Original Song. He won four Oscars for Best Original Score and one for Best Scoring, Adaptation and Original Song Score. Williams has been inducted into the American Classical Music Hall of Fame and the Hollywood Bowl Hall of Fame. In 2004, he received Kennedy Center Honors. He won a Classic Brit Award in 2005 for his soundtrack work of the previous year. Notably, Williams has won the Grammy Award for Best Instrumental Composition for his scores for Star Wars, Close Encounters of the Third Kind, Superman, The Empire Strikes Back, E.T. The Extraterrestrial, Angela's Ashes, Munich, and Indiana Jones and the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. The competition includes not only composers of film scores, but also composers of instrumental music of any genre, including composers of classical fairs such as symphonies and chamber music. In 2003, the International Olympic Committee accorded Williams its highest individual honor, the Olympic Order. In 2009, Williams received the National Medal of Arts in the White House in Washington, D.C. for his achievements in symphonic music for films, and as a preeminent composer and conductor, whose scores have defined and inspired modern movie going for decades. Williams was made an honorary brother of Kappa Kappa Psi at Boston University in the late 1980s. In 2013, Williams was presented with the Ken Burns Lifetime Achievement Award. AFI in 2005, the American Film Institute selected Williams' richly thematic and highly popular score to 1977's Star Wars as the greatest American film score of all time. His scores for Jaws and E.T. also appeared on the list, at number 6 and number 14, respectively. He is the only composer to have three scores on the list. Williams' scores for the following films were nominated for the list, AI Artificial Intelligence, Close Encounters of the Third Kind, The Cowboys, Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, Raiders of the Lost Ark, Schindler's List, Superman, The Witches of Eastwick, Academy Awards, BAFTA Awards, Emmy Awards, Golden Globe Awards, Grammy Awards, Discography. Charting Hits, 1975 AA Euro Theme from Jaws, Number 32, 1977 AA Euro Star Wars Theme a Euro Main Title, Number 10, 1978 AA Euro theme from Close Encounters of the Third Kind, Number 13, 1979 AA Euro theme from Superman, Number 81, see also, List of compositions by John Williams, Star Wars music, Superman music, Harry Potter music, references. Further reading, Audicino, Emilio, Golden Age 2.0 John Williams and the Revival of the Symphonic Film Score. In, Stop, Sebastian. Film in Concert. Film scores and their relation to classical concert music. Glau on Quarter CKSSTADT, Germany, VWH Verlag. PA 109-124. ISBN A 978-3-86488060-5. Paulus, Irina, Williams vs. Wagner a Euro or an attempt at linking musical epics in, Stop, Sebastian. Film in Concert. Film scores and their relation to classical concert music. 
Glad one quarter CKSSTADT, Germany, VWH Verlag. PA 63 108. ISBN A 978 3 86488060 5. Rearman, Peter. Spielberg Variationen, Die Film Music von John Williams. Baden Baden, Numos, Edition Reinhard Fischer. PA 797. ISBN A 978 3 835 3 Ashery, Roberto. Over the Moon, Lamar Copyright Psycho de John Williams para el Cine. Santiago, Chile, Funcia Cube den Privada, sponsored by Universitat Diego Portals. PA 400. ISBN A 978-4-89799-246-4A, external links, John Williams at the Internet Movie Database, John Williams Fan Network, music by John Williams. The John Towner Touch, the John Williams web pages, Hollywood Bowls Hall of Fame at the Wayback Machine, John Williams Music Network, John Williams Discography at Music Brian's, John Williams at SoundtrackGuide.net, John Williams on SoundtrackNet, John Williams Discography at SoundtrackCollector.com, the John Williams Collection, John Williams Sheet Music and Scores, Timelines John Williams, Part 1 Part. 2 Part 3 Part 4 Part 5 Part 6, Critical Review of Williams's Career by Anthony Tomasini at New York Times, John Williams Fan Site.